I don't know if uh, I don't know. I'm probably guessing you probably haven't seen it yet, Dre. But Wesley, have you seen the trailer for Iron Fist? I yes. Have, yeah. I yeah. Oh, you've seen it too. Yeah. It. Rem- it gets, it's giving me strong arrow. Uh, arrow. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Arrow. You know, even um. Stephen Amell. I mean, he, bonus points. It's martial arts instead of just I have a trick bow. Yes, Stephen Amell did comment on that. He says he thinks he look great regardless. I really hope which, they bring that brutal feel in fights, like how they did with uh, yeah. Daredevil. I know it's not going to be a solid fight against um, non um, non enhancer. Mm-hmm. You know, because I mean, I saw him like punch the ground in the trailer, and it's yeah. just like. So I'm getting I'm getting Arrow combined with One Punch Man. I'm very conflicted because I really like One Punch Man. But I think Arrow is stupid. <laughs> oh man, if they make a reference, it'll just make that. Super I'm not cool. up on my um, Iron Fist like lore and everything, but I do know it's you know it's deal with martial arts. He's the Iron Fist, which is like an ancient warrior or something like that. And, and he's playing off that sub trope where if you get lost and go to Asia, you'll probably come out with superpowers. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you know? So we need to plan a fight. You know. It'd be cool. Uh, Golden Child. Mother. Rosario Dawson is kind of, I don't know. She's pretty much like the Nick doesn't. Fury of the yeah, show. Hopefully she doesn't sleep with him. Hopefully. No, I don't think hopefully. so. I, I know don't. it probably won't happen. I'm just praying to God it don't. I don't think she will. Because that'll just ruin it. No, nah, I, I don't think so. It's will. like you get, all right, it's like you get that nice slice of pie, right? And you're like, man, this pie is just looking so good. And then here comes your girlfriend. She got her face all looking weird because she ate that weird, you know, lasagna or whatever. And then it's just like, oh, babe, let me go ahead and get a piece of that. So you get, you know, the hand, not not the fork, not the not the knife. You just get the hand, and it just cuts, just pulls a piece off of the pie. That's what that would do to me. Wow. If I watch that. I'm going to be disappointed on you. And I'm just going to sit back and take a look. I'm going to put my hand on my face for a second. And it's going to be the most disappointing look ever. Wow. Don't let it happen. That's all I'm saying. Don't Total let it foolishness, happen. sir. Total <laughs> foolishness. I wanted that slice of pie and you just messed it up. Total foolishness. But, um... Oh, man. Yeah. Uh... I think it's gonna be a pretty good series. I still gotta go ahead and uh, look at Luke Cage, but I mean, pretty much with this, Defenders is coming, and I'm actually more excited for that than I am for the Avengers: Infinity War. I like, just want to see what they're gonna do with. Um, see, see, they're not, gonna see do there's nothing. This, there's they nothing show to do the, with that, that trailer for Infinity War, which is another one I saw. By the way, yes, I, yeah. do, I do watch the occasional trailer. Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it was just kind of a. It was like the Mass Effect of Andromeda thing from, I think, like 2015 D3, mm-hmm. where they're like, yeah, so, like, we got people working on it, and we definitely get, and then they show, like, a picture of an environment. Yeah, and that's what like, it was. It's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> oh my God. All it was is just to get the hype up. Just to get the hype up with, you know, in the, with people or whatnot like but that, because, you know. Like, I can recognize that this is literally nothing but a hype trailer. Yeah, that's And what you it was. really need hype. Like, Marvel is literally king of the... They are literally freaking Thanos on the throne right now. Everybody else is trying, and they're just like, yeah. man, look at DC. Yeah. Holy shit, he just tripped over another rock. Oh. <laughs> hey, even Lawrence Fishburne you, you said... Wanna, you wanna... Ha- no? Lawrence Fishburne even said that DC is doing horrible. Like, they he are. agrees. Like, he, he thinks that Marvel is actually kicking their ass. No, they... You know? are, and he was they, freaking they, paired... He was paired white. He was in... You know, Superman. So and Batman v Superman. Yeah, yeah he, was. he was in there. So he, and the thing is, uh, he was Jeremy, also in John Wick. Yes, he was. That's actors. He was in. Though. I mean, I'm talking but about like people who. Jeremy Irons play. even said himself that you know what they were doing was bad or whatnot. You have these actors that they're not going to just blindly agree. Yeah, we're the greatest thing on earth or whatever like that. You know, if if something is bad, something is wrong. Yeah, it's bad. You know, and he like I can respect them for that, for actually coming out and saying, "Yeah, w- we did bad." You know, I mean, yeah, take that, res- take that. I would respect that too, but you have to t- take a look at what can you do. You know, you can't mm-hmm. just say, "Yeah, we messed up," and then just let it ride. I mean, if you're talking about bringing DC back cinematically, yeah, then 
figure out how you can make these characters feel like, man, I really want to go see this. I don't want to see Superman just trump everything. Or being depressed all the time. Or just being depressed. It's, it's not working. It's like you're either getting the, I'm going to just completely wreck everything, and that's just going to be the end of it. Or you're going to get the, oh man, I'm looking out the window at this. But it's, again, Superman, it's hard to tell stories for Superman. Christian Because Nolan they're essentially, <laughs> they're essentially fables. Yeah. They're, they're myths. They're yeah. legends. Superman is too powerful yeah, is. for I any could... actual regular storytelling. Because you're talking about a man who in the Silver Age could sneeze and throw an entire solar system out of orbit. What's a fucking orbital starship going to do? He's literally going to fly through it like Goku using a dragon fist. And I could I could literally discount your argument there, but I'm not getting into a, why no, Superman's no, we actually... Have, we have a okay. podcast for a reason. Go for it. I'm not going to get into it Give because... Give us a single will... scenario where Superman would actually have a good storyline that doesn't feel trite because he didn't try hard enough. Because that's what happened in Superman 1. Why did Zod die? Because Superman didn't try hard enough. He could have blocked Zod's eyes. He didn't have to... Strongest man on fucking earth. You think a little laser beam's gonna hurt him? <laughs> Ow. So he broke hurt. Zod's neck for what? Oh, so because we, so we could have abomination and freaking Batman be Superman. If you let me do my research, I can look up something. No, but off the top of your but dome. Off the top of my head for a Superman story that's actually really good. Mm. That would translate well to a feature film. Translate well to a feature film? You could actually do the, um... You could do Dark Side Wars. No, no, I would say no, Superman no, no. versus the Elite would make no. Uh, you could do the man who has everything. I believe that's what it was called when he was uh, going against Mongol. Where uh, they adapted it in a Supergirl story, where they basically show Superman if he was just a regular human. You know. But that's boring. Hmm. That's boring. What's the point of su- if he's a regular human, then he wouldn't be Superman. Well, he was trapped in like a dream state. He's trapped in like a. Uh, so, wait, so, a, so the, the solution to the, to a good Superman story was, oh, but he was having a dream the entire time. It was like, <sighs> see, I, and that's the thing. You're just getting snarky with me, so there's no point in even arguing with it. But I'm Whatever. gonna get no, snarky. No, 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 no. I don't I'm, mean I'm, to I'm, make I'm, you upset. No, me. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm. I I'm can't, literally, I'm literally being snarky look, because just, this is an actual. This is an actual issue with Superman. I know yeah, you really yeah. like Superman, but from a regular point of view. Superman it does not make for good story. That, why do you think Batman does so well? Because it's a regular dude. I'm not skilled enough with story with Superman comics to know about it. But from what I've read, I know that Superman comics are good. The last Superman run where they did New Fifty Two, where Superman actually passed on, he actually uh the Superman New Fifty Two Superman died and it went into the other Superman was actually a really good storyline. The one where they just did, where him and Lex Luthor had to actually work together. Now that's to, something that they could explain. They actually, actually where they yeah, had yeah. to work together in order to defeat this enemy where Superman was on a red planet and he didn't use his powers. He actually just used his wit. So that's, Iron Man 3? And cunning. Oh snap. <laughs> I see what he did there. I see what he did there. No, but that would make for a good one. If the only thing, like, yes, brute force is a very um, Trump-worthy card when you're talking about, you know, as far as ending a conflict. Yeah. But when you're when you can't just end a conflict, that's where I think the true story, a true good story, would. Yeah, Superman if you can't just punch your way through, right. then it makes it interesting. And yes. they have stories like and that. That's they what have... they're trying to do. At least that's what they tried to do with both Brainiac and Lex Luthor. Where it wasn't just a simple, I can just destroy your entire fleet in like, not even a, a sweat. Right. Yeah, but that requires, you know, a, a seemingly rare stone that just pops up everywhere all the time for no apparent <laughs> reason. In solid, liquid, and gaseous forms <laughs> with different colors. <laughs> 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 it's very interesting though. It's interesting no, no, no. no. I get like, it. like for me, for me, like the most interesting DC cutscene I think was I've ever seen was the intro to DC Universe Online mm-hmm. because I always wanted to know what led up to that conference, that particular. That to me is dynamic because Superman is weak. He's recharging, and at that time, the Legion of Doom pulls on the attack. Everybody's on the back foot. What Superman do? Superman comes to the rescue. Guess what? Lex Luthor's got the traps ready. That, when Superman is on his back foot, when he's not at 100%, that is always more interesting than, huh, well, 
I mean, I could fix that. And they have but a lot I'm of. I'm pretty sure Batman's in there, yeah, so he's got it. And you're automatically saying that every single Superman story that they've ever done since the history of time is Superman at his 100. percent It's not like any writer hasn't already no, 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 guessed no, no. that. That's the because problem. writers have. Writers no. have decided. The writers have given Superman humanity. They've given him stories where he has to deal with more humanistic things. But that's, that's the whole God living amongst man thing. That's. That's kind of where that is at. That kind of trails through. Yeah, I mean, nobody's asking for you know Medea's night out, right? Where where Superman goes and like pretends to be human. Um, what we want is a decent story where there's an actual threat. That's the whole problem with Superman is that nothing really threatens him unless you've got fucking Kryptonite. Again, it's the whole One Punch Man problem. It's that whole I One Punch is out. great because it's goofy. Yeah, it's goofy, but at the same time, it's like there's nothing. Yeah, he can he can pretty much win the entire alien invasion by himself. He doesn't actually need anybody there. And that's why I don't like One Punch Man because they're not. But actually One Punch Man is literally Superman. But they're give, making him goofy for no reason at all. He has because no real purpose of being a superhero other than he just. He wants to be a superhero. That's the only reason you need to be a superhero. Yeah, and that was it. Yeah, he wants to be a superhero because that's the thing he always wanted to do. So he created and became a superhero. And he guess what? He can He got, He was really good at it. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you could go and add a deep backstory where, you know, his father gave him real values about family and following tradition and, you know, just down home, country, cornbread, just... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's like, you, you already have enough of that. You have, you, if you want that, you can go somewhere else for that. All I'm saying is that I, I would watch it. I would even enjoy it. But, like, for me, Superman was always interesting. Like, Wesley said, when you had complex issues, like Superman versus the Elite, it wasn't a punch-out. Because Superman could win that punch-out. He won it. Easily. The whole point was that it was always public opinion. The reason why the Elite came up is because of the Elite didn't... Because people didn't believe that Superman could do the job anymore. Why? Because the Elite were like, yo, we got this alternate solution. Instead of throwing everybody to jail, why don't you just kill him? And that is especially in this day and age when as as divided as everybody is that's a great story but the whole point is that you got to get there first and the fir- from what i i've watched the first superman movie and i've seen the reviews on freaking batman v superman and frankly they're far away from that point because most people are now disinterested yes superman has got great stuff yes the, the potential for an excellent superman movie is there but frankly under the current leadership you're probably not going to get it And what you're asking the public to do is invest time and and money into something that they don't believe in. So DC's really got to knock it out of the park. Otherwise, they're literally just wasting their own money. With Superman. Not just Superman. I mean, come on. You also have the entire Justice League. And have you seen the last Green Lantern movie? Art direction aside, story direction aside, I, I mean, honestly, well, you can't even put that stuff aside because those are the people that are actually making these things monstrosities. Like, I mean, I'm not going to put a bunch of heat on the script writers or anything, but the originality and the actual, like, the yeah, the originality is just not there. It's just like we're trying to rehash the tellings of something that's already came before it, but we're trying to make it look cool so that people, like little kids, can get into that whole crash grab, mom, let me go buy this. Uh, Martian Manhunter doll at the at the local Target or whatever, and it's not really getting like solid, you know, fan attention. It's not getting solid, you know, enthusiast attention. Because honestly, if you let some of the like some of the fans attack those stories, you would get like the best storyline. When I saw <clears throat> when I saw them do the thing for Spawn, um, that was beautiful. When I saw the Nightwing one, oh my god. The, or even the Power Ranger thing, the which Power I think Ranger. did more for the Power Rangers movie than the actual trailers for the Power right. Rangers movie. You put that, you put the storytelling in the hands of people who aren't afraid of what this, like what the whole studio is going to say. You got the most amazing story ever, and that's where I believe that Superman failed. It's the studio. It's not the. It's not actually the. You talking about the actual movie Man of Steel? No, not the movie. I'm talking about the studio behind the movie. I'm talking about. Yeah, Warner Brothers. Well, yeah, Warner Brothers. I'm yeah. talking about like the extent of their 
overarching iron fist of you need to make us all of the money possible is keeping them from being as well yeah that's the thing with a lot of the dc movies is because warner brothers is dipping they have to appease the shareholders yeah the shareholders that actually give them the money for these movies they have the piece to them it's like the thing that's going on with uh batman right now more than likely it was the shareholders this was like we don't care if it's a good script or not. We just want the script. We just want the movie to be made. You know, Ben Affleck's like, I want the script to be good. I don't want to put out crap. And that's, got my what name good, that's what good CEOs and leadership are for. They're yeah. supposed to step between the people making the product and the idiots with the money who want to give you the money to make the product. Because guess what? The person who knows how to make the product makes the product. The people who don't know shit about the product shouldn't be anywhere near making the product. Yeah, you should go, we have a plan for a movie. It's a Batman franchise. And we project that it'll make us this much money. We have these people working on it. And it will take, take approximately this, year, this many years. And that's all. That's the reason why I'm so sad that the Nintendo's president died. Because frankly, with him gone, the, fall, the, uh, the, the current president is pretty much kowtowing to everything the, the, the shareholders want. And that's not what you're supposed to do. Because guess what? Guess what? Focus testing ruins things. <laughs> Focus testing just ruins things. That's the whole reason behind the PG-13 um, horror movies and all of that other things. So it's just... You can't... Oh, okay. And then I have to take that and apologize for mm-hmm. me bl- on him. And, it, and it's, summa- it's summarized perfectly in this. In an attempt to reach as many people as possible, you will reach nobody because nobody will be interested. Except for the kids and their cash grab toy fetish. I mean, I mean, who did? I, I give an example. No, I'm just talking about like for DC as a whole. That the only reason that they make a lot of their money is through their uh, merchandise. Is that true, David? What? That they make a lot of their money through merchandising. Most of these superheroes, uh, they do make their money through merchandise, and that's why uh, Spider-Man is one of the top selling uh, superheroes right now. Or why he is the top selling because Spider-Man outsells Batman, Superman, and the Avengers. But it's combined. like it's like the directors and the uh, oh, gosh, I'm not gonna say directors. It's like the companies are afraid that if you make something so graphic and so you know obscene and crazy that it's gonna lose. They're gonna lose that. They're gonna lose um, their the kids' parents going out there and buying them these toys and toys or whatever. Uh, Deadpool is so hot. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. Like, the no, thing but is, Deadpool is proof that you. The can thing know. is, they can't make they can't make Deadpool toys though, because they don't have the license for it. Well, okay. They might why do you have think? License. Why do you think no X Men toys have been made? Okay. Because they don't have the license. Like, X Men toys have been made. Not. Well, well, not for the movie. Not for the movies, or not, not recently. really. Okay. Like, how many X Men toys have you seen other than Wolverine? Well, I haven't been in the toy section, so I well, don't know. they haven't really made any X Men toys other than Wolverine, or if they're like special edition action figures, like the, well, I mean, the Shoujo the, action figures. When did um? When did uh? When did um? Was it X Men New Generation come out? That was years ago, though. That was yeah, like but I mean, that ten, was the last. I think that, that was the like last over, time I really saw. That was like over ten years ago. But that was the last time I really saw action figures. Yeah, but that was during the time where Marvel did, wasn't owned by Disney and didn't have the rights I was to anything. That was why would X Men have toy rights, especially since because they don't have them, and Marvel's not trying to make them. Marvel, see, the thing is, all the toy rights are owned by Marvel Disney right now. They can make whatever toys they want. They don't want to make X Men toys because it's going to be, you know, not promoting something that they have. True. So, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but um, let's uh go ahead.